hello everyone welcome back if you're new you're welcome to my channel i hope you're doing well so today's video is inspired by the crochet braid i did few weeks ago the, the deep side crochet braid i did few weeks ago i really like the results the end results of that crochet braid and the look and everything about the crochet braid so i decided to recreate that look on the wig so that way whenever i want the hairstyle i just have to pop on my wig and i'm good to go so i'm going to be creating that look so and using three bundles of hair in the lace closure and the length of the hair is uh 10 inches the three bundles and the uh, lace closure is 10 inches so right here i went ahead in the mark where i'm going to place in the lace closure where the meet the side part is going to be so i just put a mark in there so that gives me an idea where to place it so next i'm going ahead to uh, thread the needle so to thread your needle you really you just have to decide well the length you want the uh the thread to be so after that you want to go ahead and thread it and next you want to go ahead and tie a knot on the tip of the thread so right now i'm going ahead to tie a knot on the tip of the thread so i tied my like i did like a uh, three four to five times so i tied it like four to five times so to make sure i have like a thick uh, thick roots on the tip of the on the on the tip so that way it doesn't slip through the uh the uh wig cap uh, fabric so yeah just like that so the next step right now i'm going to go ahead and place the uh the lace closure down so that is the main pad so this the uh, lace closure came with uh, a middle pad so i don't want middle pads i want like a deep side pad so i'm going to be re recreating the line not recreating so i'm going to be creating the deep side pad so to get the idea and to make sure i have enough hair for both sides i place the uh the main part one inch away from the uh the the side parts where i want the side part to be so and i went ahead and pin it down so right here i'm going ahead to stitch down the uh, the lace closure so my needle is really giving me a hard time but oh one more thing so if to uh, make your wig, you want to make sure you have like two to three needles, so that way you don't always uh, stop and retread the one, the same needle over and over again. So it helps when you have more than two needles. So it helps the, it help the, um, it help the making of the wig go really quick. So right now I'm just going ahead to stitch down the, uh, to sew down the, um, the uh, lace closure. <laughs> so I sewed the from one end. From this end all the way to the middle section so i'm gonna stop right there and go over to the other side and uh, sew it down from that section to the middle section over here and then tie both threads together to secure it in place so i went ahead and uh, did that off camera this is the results right here so next i am going to be uh, flipping the uh, the wig cap inside out so uh, after that i'm gonna pin it in place and sew the hair from the um, one end of the lace closure to the other end of the lace closure. The, after that, I'm gonna go back and uh, flip it, flip the right side out. So that's that. Just flip it over and place it back on the wig on the wig stand. So next, you want to go ahead and uh, pin the hair in place before going into uh, sew it down. So and also to sew the uh, to sew down the hair, you want to go ahead and pass your, ne your needle through the hair and the wig cap. So pass it through and pull on the thread to come back. So you want to take the uh, the needle, pass it through the loop like about two to three times. I advise to pass it through the loop three uh, two times. So that will help to secure it in place. So just pass the uh, the needle through the uh, the hair and the cap just like that hold on a minute hold on hold on yeah i just pass it through the hair and the quick cap my needle is giving me a hard time really just like that and take the needle pass it through the loop so you want to open up the loop and pass it through the loop two times or three times if you prefer that so that will help to secure the to secure it in place so i, I only did it on this part on this first uh, station so after that i went ahead and just do like a single knot on the rest of the uh of the hair except for when i ran out of trade and i had to do like um uh the last one of the trade i had to do like a double knot again to secure it in place before cutting the trade so yeah, so you want to uh, repeat the same thing, just continue stitching it down. And also for this uh, wig, we're going to be doing the fold over method. So you can cut the hair if you want, but that will give you a lot of shedding. But if you prefer that, you can cut it. But for me, I'm going to be doing the, uh, the fold over method. So I'm just going to stitch it all the way to the end. 
yeah just all the way to the end for the last one right here i'm gonna do the double knot right there before flipping it over just press it down and also you want to make sure to uh, put the needle on the other side to in order to get the thread out of the way so i want to take the hair and fold it over just like that fold it over and pin it in place so that way it doesn't uh, it, that way it doesn't move when you're trying to stitch it down just take it fold it over and pin it down So after pinning it, you want to go ahead and uh, continue what you're doing. Just continue sewing it down. So for this part right here, in order to uh, prevent it from being bulky, I'd like to pass the uh, the needle through the hair and the wig cap, and then do like a double knot on the uh, on this part right here. You can do double knot or triple knot, just like that, and use. I'd like to use my thumb to press it down while pulling on the tray to help it lay to help the uh, that section to lay down really flat. So I'm going to show you one more time. Do a double knot and place your thumb on the uh, on the on the path right there and pull on the thread in order to help you to uh, um, flatten the uh, the edge of the hair. I hope that makes sense. But yes, I'm pretty sure you guys are seeing what I'm doing, right? <laughs> So yeah, after that, I just uh, went ahead and continued doing the single knot method. So this is the last bundle, and I, I fold it over in order to get a double well, double web for the um, for the last one. So right here, I just put them together. Always want to pin in the place to make sure they're both together. So when you pass the trade through the um, through the uh, hair and the cap, you want to make sure you cash. Both the uh, both webs, so that way you're not having like one hanging out, and you only have to stitch one down. So you want to make sure you stitch both of those webs down, so to make sure you're getting it right. So always, also you want to make sure to always check to know that they're both secured in place. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the top one out. So I'll, this will bring me back to a single web. So before going ahead to uh, fold it over and stitching down the last one going all the way around. So, and I'm stitching it really close to the um, to the lace closure. Make sure we don't have any gap between the lace closure and the weft. So right there, doing the same thing, doing the fold over method, you wanna make sure to do like a double knot on the first one before going ahead to do the single knot. Or you can even use like a double knot throughout the whole uh, entire wig. So I went ahead and sewed it all the way down to the other side of the uh, closure and cut out the SS uh, hair. So right here, I'm going ahead to do the last stitch. You can see I did a double knot to make sure to secure the hair and the thread in place. So next, I'm going ahead to cut the thread. So we are almost done. So right here, this is the result. As you can see, the, uh, the last web is really close to the lace closure, which is really good. So you don't want too much gap between the uh, the weft and the closure. Next right here, I'm going ahead to bleach the section where I want the highlight to be. So once you make a decision on how thick and how small of a section you want your hair, your highlight to be, you want to go ahead and uh, bleach it. And also I have a separate video on how I created the, uh, the deep side part. I'm going to be uploading that later. So yeah, I just uh, apply the bleach on the hair and let it sit for about 25 minutes. And next I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. So next right here, I'm going ahead to uh, to mix the blend hair color. So I've already washed the hair off camera, also dry using the uh, the hand dryer. So I only washed the session where I applied the, the bleach. So I'm going to wash the whole entire wig after applying the color and washing out the color. So right now, I'm just going ahead to mix it together. So this is the uh, the hair before applying the uh, the blonde hair colors. You can see the highlight is popping, but we're going to enhance it, okay? <laughs> so next time right now I'm going ahead to uh, apply the uh, the blonde hair color so also only applying it on the areas where I apply the bleach uh, at the same time so after applying the color and also I let it sit 
for about 20 minutes i think but i didn't really put a time on it but i think it was 20 minutes so after that i uh, went ahead and washed it off camera too so i went ahead and uh, washed out the color and washed the wig with shampoo and conditioner off camera and they also let it air dry overnight till the next day so this is the next day right here i'm going ahead to um cut out the uh, SS lace on the front before going ahead to uh, style the wig. So this is the end result before going ahead to uh, style the wig. I would have just coiled it and just rock it like this for a couple of days before going ahead to cut it short but I want the exact hair I, that I did on the crochet braid so I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up the tip of the hair. <laughs> so right now I'm going ahead with my scissors. I'm gonna first of all go ahead and cut the back section of the hair and then walk on the uh, the side and the front section one at a time. Right there or down. So right now I'm walking on the uh, on the side, just gently cutting and tracing the line towards the front. So next I'm going ahead to, uh, to uh, create the bang so I'm just cutting it downwards and also blending the length towards the, uh, the bulb cut and this is the result. So next it's time to uh, style the hair and I'm going to be doing that using the flat iron so for, uh, before going ahead with the flat iron I spray in some heat protection spray and next I'm going ahead to uh, flat iron the hair so towards the tip of the hair I retake the flat iron in order to coil the, uh, the, the uh, tip of the hair inwards so that will create the bulb look on the, uh, on the tip of the hair to kind of curve it in. So for the uh, for the front part, which is the bangs, I'm going to be coiling that after applying the uh, the wig. So this is the uh, result so far, and this is the hair without coiling the tip, without coiling the bangs. You can rock it like this, but I just like I said, I want the same hairstyle I did with the um, with the crochet braid. So I'm going to be coiling the bangs. So. So next I'm going to go ahead and separate the bangs into two and uh, coil one session at a time. So and also I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be coiling and rotating the um, I'm going to rotate the flat iron in order to make sure I'm coiling it away from my face just like that. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other one on the second session. So I'm repeating the same thing, take the flat iron, first run like a straight one through, and then the second one you want to rotate it just like that away from your face so that will make sure when you're done your the hair is not covering up your eyes you can still see what's in front of you <laughs> so so far this is the end results i'm just combing and uh styling make sure everything is in place and i love it so what do you guys think of this uh hairstyle uh let me know in the comment section down below so this is the end result of the video i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one